I also want you to think about the areas or times when you're most likely to cave with this cleanse. For me, and likely for many, that's the afternoon crash. You might want to reach for coffee, so having a good tea or other substitute ready will help. If you want something more filling, you could always do a creamy tea latte by adding in coconut milk to your tea or a combo of unsweetened almond milk and a bit of coconut milk. Some cinnamon added in there adds flavor as well as helping to balance blood sugar. You might also be craving something sweet in the afternoon, so a cleanse approved muffin or a layer bar or even just some dates or raisins will help. And the other time that we are most likely to get off track is the evening. This is where I especially struggle. I find the later I stay up, the more carbs I want to eat. So this might not sound like fun, but I actually try to get into the habit of going to bed a little bit earlier. You'll notice if you stay up an hour later, you eat way worse than if you were to wake up an hour earlier. I'm a bit of a morning person anyways, but I love having that extra time in the morning before the kids wake up instead of having that extra time in the evening. I eat way better and I get more done this way. Okay, so maybe going to bed early isn't enticing. Uh, what else can you do to stay on track? The afternoon snack tips can work for the evening too, like the latte tea. If you're craving something crunchy and salty, then the roasted chickpeas are good. Uh, there's a recipe in the book, but you can Google others. My husband has a spicy chickpea recipe he likes. Kale chips are another option. Uh, something sweet, if you're craving that. A banana ice cream is good. Uh, you need either a food processor or or a good blender. To that banana ice cream, you could have it just, just frozen banana uh, and make sure they're nice and ripe. Or you could even add in a little bit of coconut milk. That makes for like a nice flavor. Or maybe even frozen cherries or frozen strawberries. Uh, you could sprinkle on some lightly toasted coconut flakes. I actually find that if I don't have a bit of carbs at night, I can't fall asleep. I'm not sure if anybody else is like this. If I'm hungry, I just can't sleep and then I get up and I just eat all the carbs in the house. So I might, uh, to help with that, I might pre-bake some sweet potato toast, uh, maybe in my Sunday meal prep and freeze them. And then so I can bring that out in the evening, maybe one or two slices of, of sweet potato. And then I top it with avocado and, and some spices, or usually I want something a little bit sweeter in the evening. So I'll do the, toast up the, the sweet potato toast and add maybe some nut butter, apple slices, I could sprinkle on some toasted coconut or cinnamon. Uh, there's lots of, if you Google that, there's lots of different ideas too. I also want to mention that this week is not about calorie restriction. If you are truly hungry, I want you to eat that extra bowl of soup or maybe um, a soup and a smoothie for lunch. I sometimes do that. If you wake up early and you feel like you're ready to eat lunch early if it's just too much to wait until 12 o'clock. And if your schedule allows it, then then eat your lunch early. I usually have my lunch at 11 o'clock and then I'll have like a period soup at 11. And then usually by one o'clock will be kind of like a second lunch will be a, a shake from the lunch smoothie menu. Note if your body is truly hungry or if you are eating out of habit or some sort of comfort. If you really look into this, you'll notice that we often just eat for, instead of eating for hunger, it's out of habit or comfort or maybe even boredom. So eat if you're truly hungry, but still try to follow the no solid food rule until the afternoon where you can have a, a solid food snack. I think that's about it for now. I might come back on here with some more tips.